Today we're going to be practicing taking some notes and learning more about the different kinds of degrees that are offered by colleges. The first kind of degree that we want to consider is a certificate program. We'll also talk today about associate's degrees. Those can either be an associate of arts or an associate of applied sciences. We'll finally talk about bachelor's degrees. That can either be a bachelor of arts or a bachelor of science degree. Good question is, what are the biggest differences between the degrees? The main differences between the degrees are how long it takes to earn the degree. That's often measured in how many credits you have to have for your degree. Credits are tied to the particular classes you take. Not all classes are worth the same number of credits. Another difference between the degrees are the kinds of responsibilities and jobs that you can obtain when you get that degree. Often, the kinds of jobs that you are able to get influences how much money you will earn in that job and what kinds of promotions or other opportunities you will have within that career. Let's start by taking a look at a certificate program. Think about working in a medical office. Many different people work there, and they have lots of different kinds of jobs. One of the types of jobs you might have is as a medical receptionist. St. Paul College offers a certificate program which requires 20 credits. 20 credits would be approximately equal to about six or seven classes that you would need to take. Medical office receptionists engage in activities like making telephone calls, greeting patients, scheduling appointments, maintaining office data. Another career within a medical office, which is a position called a medical office professional, would require that you have an associate's degree. As you can see, the number of credits required is significantly higher. Instead of the 20 credits that we talked about before, an associate in applied science would require 60 credits. This would probably be about 20 different classes that you would take. Medical administrative assistants, they often do transcription, they have terminology and office procedures and word processing. You also see that they can find jobs in other kinds of medical office settings. Many of these people can progress on to be billing specialists. Another kind of a career you might consider is one that would require a Bachelor of Science degree. If you are interested in becoming a registered nurse, you might pursue a nursing program at Winona State University. To earn a bachelor's degree, you would need 120 credits. This is twice as long as an associate's degree. Registered nurses often have much more independence in the work that they do and can earn significantly higher salaries than other individuals employed in medical settings. So let's recap. A real quick question for you. Which kind of program would take the longest? Which kind of degree offers jobs that pay the most money typically? Thank you very much. I hope this helps you understand a little bit about the differences between the different kinds of degrees offered.